Cause Armstrong knew the, he cheated his motherfucking way up there in the right way though. He had doctors and people waiting in the lobby and giving up phone calls. If you would have did it like that, you probably would have got away. And so, so what does you it make it more dangerous? You did hear about it. Like what was well, first, I just like, heard it from you right oh, now. Oh, so that was the first yeah. time you heard like, it? Yeah. yeah so, I've been focused on Danny. Like. So he got tested yesterday and they mm. told him, uh, I, think, I believe Vada told him, like, hey, you tested uh, positive yeah. for the substance. He okay. went to the gym, still training. He yeah. didn't really say much. Today, the New York Commission said, hey, no. Are they banned you, you failed. Them? Yeah. You're, we're not going to oh. license you. Uh, okay. So, so I'm glad. So I'm glad the commission stepped it up because a lot of commissions, they don't step it up. They just leave it up to the fighters and the promotion. So I'm glad they did their job. Does it make it worse when it's uh, Ashley and boxing in a, in a combat sport? Because we're talking lives here, right? No, you're right, because this could really kill you. Because you got to understand that MMA is a good sport too, but they get knocked out, they live again. But when you take a beating for 12 rounds, it beats you down. So boxing is more dangerous, believe it or not, than, than MMA. Because MMA, I mean, you get kicked in the face and all that. That's, I mean, that probably, that probably hurts too, and an elbow in your face. But when you get 12 rounds, and they, that's why boxing in the 18th century was scheduled for 50 rounds. So they start at 12 o'clock in the afternoon under the sun in the baseball field. And uh, Jack Johnson was the only fighter that ever went 25 rounds. It was scheduled for 50 round championships. And then they kept cutting it down to 15 rounds in the 80s. And now it's 12 rounds because of that reason. Because fighters get beat down where, where you, can, you can get knocked out and live again. But if I beat you slowly, I'm, I'm killing you slowly. So people understand. So if you, do, if you do some kind of substance to improve yourself to box or to do anything, then you cheat and then you put in somebody else's life. So people like that, if they get caught in a, in, a, in, a, in a tournament or a fight, they should go to jail because that's murder. So you think that should happen to Miller? Well, I don't think it should happen to him because he got caught outside the ring. But I'm saying if you get caught after a fight, you beat a guy down bad. And you get caught with substance in your body, you should get prosecuted for that. That's like taking shit out the gloves. Two questions, Angel, on yeah. that topic. One, what do you think? Do you think what they're doing now is good in terms of the punishments, or do you think they should be stricter? Well, they should be stricter because you, you got to make an example. Because if I suspend you for two years, that's like pity pat. That's nothing. But you got to come down on that because you got to understand there's people's family in the rings. So you got to understand when people talk about fighters and they'll bash uh, an opponent. Yes, he does. Or you get a law, you get bad, like you no good. You got to look at the sport. Like people go in there. You remember, these guys sign a contract before they go into a bout. Who, who they're going to leave, whatever to. So that tells you everything right there. So you got to understand that people, people out there love these, these boxers. Not, not in only fighters. We see them as fighters. They gladiators. Because it, it, it takes a, really, a, a real gladiator to get in there knowing because if I tell you let's fight, you'd be like, yeah, yeah, you hyping it up. And when I'm not looking, you're going to tell your homie, yo, stop it before we go outside. Because God didn't make us to fight. God made us to be lovers and breed. You got to be a special guy for this, brother. That's why you guys, you guys got that. Them cameras in your hand. Y'all got all the power right here. Because people listen to you guys. And you guys need to talk good about great fighting. Talk good about guys that probably caught an L on a bad night. So when you guys bash these guys, because people listen to you guys. A lot of people, don't, they don't know the sport. So y'all teaching these guys. Or well, the people out there, ladies, women, whatever. They learning from you guys, because y'all got the power in your hands right here. This is the power of the future right here. Cameras and cell phones. So they're, they're learning from you right now, man. No, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. That's what I'm saying. I don't want people to know the sport, huh? The second question is, um, do you, how rampant do you feel this problem is in boxing? Do you feel it's well, very rampant? Well, or do you think it's, it's getting better? Well, it is out there. I, I can't say how, how, if it's 90%, 70%, 50%. They out there, especially other countries. At least America's doing something about it. Because you got to understand what happened to the Olympics. The Russian team, they all got busted. So how many medals did they get? <laughs> you understand? Like how many medals did we know that they got off the shit? So it's a step. I mean, they doing something. The WBC started it. So, you know, they, you got to be in the top 15. You got to get doping. Proper time. Yeah, you got to get doping. <laughs> The WBC, if you, ain't, if you ain't doping the top 15, you ain't fighting for the buckle. So that's a great thing because you got guys like Danny, clean guys like him, 100% athlete right there. 
Danny's 100% athlete. I want you guys to understand. I'm not saying because he's my son. I'm telling you because Danny don't drink. He don't smoke hookah. He don't do none of that shit. You, <laughs> no hookah? He's on 420. Not even hookah. Listen, you know, you smoke a hookah, it's like smoking 20 cigarettes. That's what they said. That's what they said. Angel, uh, Spence Garcia, Spence put on a massive yeah. performance. What were your thoughts about it? Well, I thought it was a good fight. I mean, it was a good fight for the fans. To get back to the fan hype, two undefeated fighters, like when Danny Ford or Thurman. It should have been a pay-per-view, but that's the past. But it was a good fight. I mean, I thought... I mean, Garcia is a smaller guy. He's a great fighter, not taking nothing from him. But if you find a smaller guy in a walkerweight division, moving up to weight division, you should destroy the cat. So I think Spence played safe. He did a good performance. He boxed him, but you should have did more than that. So it was a good fight for the fans. For the, for the people that know boxing, it was a terrible match. How much more could he have For the done? people that know boxing, that's you guys. You, you, you I mean, they made a lot of money. I'm not hating. That's, you know, they did their thing. Everybody got a trail in this game. We got our own trail. So, to me, I don't I don't buy pay-per-view. I go to the club, the strip joint, and watch it for free. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I enjoy myself while I'm watching a boxing show. Is it Latin? And I really got to like it because I'm not going to watch no fucking ass. I'm not going to sit home with no fucking ass watching a fucking fight. Are you even watching the fight at the strip club, though? Well, I do watch it. I watch the good parts. Are you a ass man? Ain't just the ass. Which one? Tits ass, I like I like nice petite ones. Like I don't like big fat cow asses. <laughs> but I love big titties. I love big titty girls. Alright, <laughs> <laughs> Angel. That's right, baby. Listen. I'm 56. I'm 56. I'm an older man, not an old man. That's right. You know, you gotta enjoy so I work hard. I got I got a little bit of money, so I might as well judge. I ain't gonna leave it to the to the, uh, when I get when they put me in the old folks' home, no, I gotta enjoy my money now. While I'm still, while I'm still out here. No, no, no. Listen, I, I don't know if you can say this, but the fingers, man, not the dick. <laughs> that motherfucker. Hey, I take care of it. I wash it. I shave it. I take care of that motherfucker. He do what I tell him to do. <laughs> Angel, so you, you might be there to, at the strip club tonight, huh? You sound like... Well, no, because I got Danny got to fight. Yeah. So I got I to stay holy. I got to be a holy man. I, got, I can't break the, you know what I mean, the spiritual things like that. <laughs> good, good energy going right now. No, yeah, we got to keep it like that. We ain't got no bad vibes. We don't want no guru guru shit. <laughs> Some people going to hate we change subjects, but... Uh, what rematch would you want? Porter well, or Thurman? I, honest to God... It, like, it don't matter because I mean, I'm just going to do what I'll talk to do. Not that I'm just, because the thing is that Porter doing his thing right now, he's, he's co gay right now. Every time he turns around, he's smiling. You know what I'm saying? He's happy as shit right now. He living glory right now. That's okay, let him enjoy the moment. Everybody get a moment. I mean, Danny got two losses. I can't sugarcoat that because he got two losses. It was controversial to me. He, you gotta understand there's the difference between two losses and getting your ass kicked. Danny did not get his ass kicked. It's not like you said, Dan, Danny got his ass whooped. It was controversial, it was close, both of them. They got the decision, it's okay too. You know what I mean? I wasn't happy about it, because I was fucked up for a minute. But it's okay, we moved on a bigger thing. Now we're gonna do our thing, and if anybody wanna fight us in the future for a championship, no champions don't matter. Because you don't got to have a championship fight to be a great fight. Right. You know what I'm saying? Buckle's only buck. I'm not going to bash no, no, no franchise out there. I'm not going to do that. But a buck was just a buck or something you wear around your waist. That's not money. To me, it's about money at the end of the day. It's about Danny coming out in the future where he's healthy, thinking straight, not sluggish. You know, he's not flying private jets, blowing all this money away. Well, he being smart, so when he retires, young age, his kids can, can live, not be broke back and trying to beg for a fight at 50. Because you got to be smart. It's not about flashing cars, jewelry. Anybody can have that. You can sell drugs and have jewelry. Because you buy buying from the fucking crackheads. 
Go to a strip club and Gee, have Yeah, you can fucking pin bitches. You're right. Because yeah. I did that. Pin bitches. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, you're right. I ain't trying to call a bitch a female bitch is a female dog. Uh -huh. So I ain't trying to say all women are bitches. You're talking to a real one, Angel. No, no, you're right. But people around. out there, just people out there turn that yeah. shit around and calling me racist and all that. Mm -hmm. I ain't fucking racist. My dick is racist. <laughs> that motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you ain't brown like my. my <laughs> Now let me stop, man. You guys, you guys gonna expose me. I know. Okay. Bob Arum. They're gonna put me in a bad term with people so, I did. Uh, I'm not gonna title it. Like no, no. That. Bob Arum said, uh, Bob Arum said there's only one elite welterweight in this division. He obviously was eluding to Earl Spence. Yeah. Well, like I said, everybody got their turn. Everybody jumped on the wagon. Mm -hmm. Everybody jumped on the wagon. You gotta look at resumes. I'm not saying the guy can't fight, because the guy can fight. That's why he's in the sport, because he can fight. But you gotta understand, you gotta look at resume. It's like everybody's on the wagon. Everybody jumps, everybody takes a moment. But, but top rank, uh, Bob Barron's saying that because he, he wants to fight uh, Terrence Crawford with him. Right. That'll be a good fight for them. Will they get money out of it? I don't know. Cause I'm not trying to say that these people are, listen, I'm not gonna try to talk too much because I don't wanna say things that I shouldn't be saying. But when I was trying to do good things for the boxing world, they bashed me. But now you got all these motherfuckers coming from Europe with these fucking apps and everybody jumping on the fucking wagon. It's gonna be like this. I'm gonna put it to you this way. It's gonna be like this, Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. <laughs> Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. You One more time. One you know more what I'm saying? One more time. Yeah. <laughs> Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Why, why so you I got you on black and white, Papa. You're gonna do what I say. Gotcha. Gotcha. So you're not a. Uh, what do you make of Well, the thing is, I don't know what these guys are doing. I don't know their purses. I don't know what's going on. I know it's, I gotta thank Al Heyman for what he did for my family my, my, and Danny. So I know it was there. But when he tried to do big things for boxing, they bashed him. You know why? <laughs> yeah, because they were hating. And they yep. still hate him. Yep. You know why? Do you think race you know, plays a part in that? Basically, man, I'm surprised you guys are here. You guys not in New York. Doing uh, the, 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 the kind in them. Because everybody on that goddamn wagon. So I'm glad you guys are here. So I'm going to thank you. I'm going to remember you. our faces. No, y'all, 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 Do you think race plays a part in that? Can you said they were hating. Do you think race plays a part? People jumping well, on the it could versus... be, but I, I ain't worrying about that shit. Race is just a color, bro. That don't got nothing to do with business. I don't got shit to do with business. You can be purple and if you're a businessman, to run a business, you gotta be business oriented. You can't have a business without a team. It's a team behind this. It. Yeah, That's it's it. a team. That's you true. can have no all one, the business in the world. Yeah. Nope. It's like you can have a, t a business. If you ain't got a team, your business gonna crash or you gotta shut That's it down. True. It's true. about a business. It's a business at the end of the day, but the thing is, don't talk, burn, and then you, it's like, see, it's like this. You, you dirty in the water and then you drink in it. So why would you dirty the water? Then you gotta drink the water. Don't dirty the water to drink it. Partner up with me, let's be business partner, but don't trash me. But you been doing the same shit, cause you creating monopoly too. Didn't y'all hear me just say all of that? <laughs> just saying, you know what I'm saying? Just said the so, same shit. So they, they talking all this crazy shit, and they got all these fighters flopping over to the other side, and they signing all these fighters and 360 million dollars in the highest pay athlete. You know the highest pay athlete is Floyd Mayweather at all times. Because he didn't get 350 million in five years. He got 250 million in one fight. Yeah. <laughs> On two occasions. Excuse me. So that's the highest pay athlete. That's a lot of fucking fights in five years. I mean, listen, you need to find Top Gun. I don't know, would you still have brains to think? I ain't gonna let nobody make choices like that over me. Money's not everything, your health, like he was saying earlier. It's about walking away and you still got this up here. Cause every time you sparring, it's a fight, brother. That's a fight. <laughs> so let's say you got 30 fights, but how about you sparring? That's about 110 fights. Cause every time you spar guys, you pain these guys. These guys ain't coming to uh, be your, your little uh, punching bag. These guys are trying to prove a point. Cause they in there, they getting paid money to spar with a top gun. They're not gonna come be your slouch. They trying to knock you out. You ready to go, Angel? You know what I'm saying? Peace up.